Ken. Yes, that would Larry. Be. Larry. Have a yeah. seat, please. All right, I'm going to put a couple tubes around. Okay. I'm just going to go around your stomach area, one's going to go around your chest. Okay. So stick your arms up like you're jumping through a swimming pool. There you go. Boom. Right here, pardon me, ahead of time. Sure. Now, um, did you get some sleep last night? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did just fine. Are you under the effects of any narcotics or medication? Uh, nope. Penicillin for my infection and my sinus infection, but that's okay. a day. No pain or discomfort? Uh, no, I'm fine. All right. Visibly not intoxicated no. to the examiner, <laughs> so we will proceed. All right, once again, as a reminder, answer all questions yes or no. Any confusion, please go silent. Ken, are you ready to begin the examination? Yes. Is today Saturday? Yes. Are there any lights on in this room? Yes. Are the stories that you told about your experience during the entirety of the camping trip true and not exaggerated at all? Yes. Are we in California? Yes. To your knowledge, was the handprint found on the truck faked or in any way doctored? No. Ken, please answer no to the following question. Do you remember ever taking part in any sex act that you were ashamed of? No. Other than any variations in color, is the photograph that we reviewed a true and accurate depiction of what was found on your car? Yes. Did you and your friends create that handprint on the truck yourselves? No. Ken, have you ever told a lie to get out of trouble? Yes. Have you told the truth to the polygraph examiner on all questions so far this afternoon? Yes. Ken, are the stories that you told about your experience during the entirety of that camping trip true and unexaggerated? Yes. This concludes examination number one. Your arm okay? Oh yeah. Put your arms up, please. Adolf, are you ready to begin the examination? Yes. Perfect. Is your first name really Adolf? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Okay, stop the examination and do over time. There is an example of a simple instruction not being followed. So now, I'm more interested in Adolf. Are you ready to begin the examination? Yes. Perfect. Is your first name really Adolf? Yes. Adolf, did you and your friends create that image that was left on your vehicle during the camping trip? No. Are the stories 
that you told about your experience during the entirety of that camping trip true and unexaggerated? True. Stop the examination and take a break again. Okay, we're going to have to run three tests. We need all questions answered with a yes, yes or, or no. no. Okay, examiner's getting nervous now. Adolf, are you ready to begin the examination? Yes. Once again, all questions, yes or no. Is your last name Santa Stephen? Yes. Did you and your friends create that impression that was left on your vehicle during the camping trip? No. Are the stories that you told about your experience during the entirety of the camping trip true and not exaggerated? True. Yes. We're going to stop the test again. <laughs> I'm just nervous about going home being dark. I keep thinking about going home and seeing lights. Focus now. I need you with me. Adolf, are you ready to begin the examination? Yes. Are you sitting down? Yes. Are the stories you told about the experience during the entirety of the camping trip true and not exaggerated? Yes. Are the stories that you told about your experience during the entirety of the camping trip, true and not exaggerated? No. Are the stories that you told about your experience during the entirety of the camping trip true and not exaggerated? No. Okay, so you, you know the problem we're having, right? We don't know what happened. It's like if something tells you you can't say this or you can't talk about that. It's um, sort of like a, like, it's not like an inner voice. It's like um, you, you're not allowed to talk about it. And if you well, do, you realize it's you're failing a polygraph test right now, right? Are you aware of Probably that? Probably so. Only because it seems ever since well, then... it's odd that he passed the polygraph, yeah. but you're... I've been having weird uh, events ever since I was a kid. And uh, it seems well, I like I don't supposed to talk about it. Well, how it old were you when this happened? It was only 10 years ago. No, I've been having stuff since I was... Uh, probably five years old. It's hard for me to talk about it, like I don't post to talk about it, like uh, I don't post to give out the information. Well, there's no aliens in the room right now, so I give yeah, you permission to talk about it. I give you permission right now to answer the questions truthfully. So, you want to try this again? Yeah. Let's try it again. Adolf Santa Steven, MGQT format, test number five. Are you ready, Adolf? Yes. Please remain still. The test is about to begin. Have you ever been teased about your first name? <laughs> yes. Are the stories that you told about your experience during the entirety of the camping trip in question true and not exaggerated? Yes. Did you and your friends create the impression that was left on the vehicle? No. To your knowledge, was the handprint found on the truck faked or in any way doctored? No. 
Are the stories that you told about your experience during the entirety of the camping trip true and not exaggerated? Yes. This concludes exam number five. All right, so that question is problematic for you. I don't know why that question is problematic for you. It's weird. It's like they stick something in your head where you're not allowed to say something, I guess, or not permitted to talk about it. I know, but you're talking about been, it now, and there's no yeah. ramifications, so what's the it's, logic behind it? I don't understand. You're talking about it. You didn't get struck down with alien glue. Adolf, are you ready to begin the sixth examination? Yes. Did you lie about the events that unfolded on the camping trip in question? No. Did you lie about any of the events that unfolded during the camping trip in question? No. Did you create the handprint that we reviewed in the photograph? No. Adolf, do you remember ever being teased about your first name? Yes. Did you lie about any of the events that unfolded on the camping trip in question? No. Have you told the truth to the polygraph examiner on all questions during this examination? Yes. Did you create the impression left on the vehicle that we reviewed in the photograph? No. This concludes exam six.